Hi folks, this is question 10. We need to find the coordinates of P here. P obviously is the place that it cuts the x-axis. So everywhere along the x-axis, the points are zero. Sorry, the, the y-coordinates are zero. Because you imagine that that was, like that could be the point four zero, and then the next one is five zero, and then over here it'd be 10 zero, and so on. So everywhere along the x-axis, the y-coordinate has to be zero. Therefore, I'm gonna let y be zero in this. So if I let y be for that line, um, so the line k is y is equal to two x plus five. If I let y be zero, now I can move the five across, it becomes a minus five. And if I bring the two across and divide it, I get minus five over two, which is x, so that's minus 2.5. So my x coordinate is minus 2.5, and my y coordinate is obviously going to be zero. So minus 2.5, zero. The line, n is perpendicular to k and it goes through the point 0 10 so perpendicular with these types of questions always refers to slope so the slope of the line k sorry the slope of the line n because it's perpendicular has to be where you flip it upside down and change the sign so it tells us we know already in any line y equals mx plus c the m is the slope, so the thing that's in front of the x. The line k here is the line y equals 2x plus 5. So here the slope has to be 2. So the slope of the line k is 2. So to get the slope of the line n, I'm just going to take the 2, which is 2 over 1, and I'm going to flip it upside down and change the sign, and that gives me minus 1 over 2. So my slope that I'm working with here is minus 1 over 2 and I'm going to use the point 0 10 and then I'm just going to use the formula for the equation of the line so y equals sorry y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1 y minus 10 that's x1 y1 is equal to minus a half times x minus 0 I'm going to multiply across by 2 here so we get 2y minus 20. That, that's the answer now, but we're just rearranging here. Then the 2 on the bottom there is gone. We just get minus 1x, and then x, bring the x over. x plus 2y minus 20 is equal to 0, and that's the form that they wanted the answer. And I did the second part quickly enough. To, I did the um, rearranging quickly enough there, but that's basically it anyway.